Hello, and thanks for watching this short video on securing OpenVPN access server after installation. We'll cover three quick steps, securing a root user account, securing the OpenVPN administrative user account, and hardening the web surfer cipher suite string. That's a mouthful. To configure or to uh, change the password of a root user account, simply log in as root and issue the password command with P-A-S-S-W-D, and then you can change the password for root. Now, OpenVPN Access Server comes with an OpenVPN administrative user. We call it the bootstrap user. And it comes in handy when you first launch your Access Server. You can change the password quickly and then access the admin UI, the uh, interface to configure the administrative options for Access Server. However, once other users are on Access Server and it's deployed in, in your organization or in your environment, you may want to disable that administrative account. So to do that, we'll get into the config files of Access Server. Here, the as.conf file is the main configuration file for OpenVPN Access Server. And within it, we can see there is a boot pam entry and this is our our user named openvpn here this is the service we don't want to disable that the service has to run but we can comment out the openvpn user entry and then restart the service And just like that, our OpenVPN user is no longer able to access the admin UI. The web server cipher suite string is fairly secure by default. We use the default OpenSSL string, and I would say that that is moderate security. However, it can be um, it can be configured. It can be implemented if you, for instance, want to disable three DES cipher suites. This portion here is the default cipher is the default OpenSSL string, and we can go ahead and add on to that. So I'll just grab this command here, and we're going to be using our Sackly tool. If I get into the scripts directory here at user local openvpn underscore as scripts, we have a number of tools that are available for the command line. Sackly is probably the most versatile tool and most widely used. So I enter the command using the key of cs.openssl underscore cipher suites and with a new value. And then I do a warm restart, which is again using Sackly. And there we go, our command has taken effect and the, the Cypher Suite has been um, enabled on this access server. I can look at that by showing, by using another one of our tools, CompDBA, and taking a look at some of the features in the database. And there it is, that's the value that we specified and the new string with 3DES is enabled. That's it for this short video. Thanks for joining.